Hello my Pear Tree friends and my YouTube friends. I'm so excited to be back with you with another layout. So this one was made for Wonderful Wednesday and it is for May 18th. Um, so Pear Tree C Cut Files does a freebie during the month of May for National Scrapbook Day, but it's a month-long celebration. And Marie generously has two versions of this cut file on Facebook, so make sure you pop in and grab yours. And I decided to use my Pops of Color here from scrapbook.com to um, color in the cut file. So I just left it on the map, and then I used the little daubers along with the Pops of Color right on a piece of acetate that at the end of it, I'm just gonna dispose of. And I just dabbed it on. Um, I tried to do a gradient. So as you see here, I am working with an orange, a yellow, a um, like a pinkish purple to, to build um, the gradient here. So a couple things, this is my first time working with the Pops of Color. Um, they actually don't take too long to dry, so you have plenty of time to work with it. And then over that, I added this Distress, um, I think it's called Crystals. I forget what it is. I'll make sure to link it um, at the bottom. But I just sprinkled it on because I like the little shimmer effect that it offers and then used my heat gun to dry it up. Now, the one thing I would recommend you do differently than that, what I did is, as you can see, I had left it intact um, on the cut file. I would actually, um, next time around, just remove um, the cutout from the backing paper um, and then place it on top of another sheet with maybe some um, removable adhesive on the back of it to hold it in place temporarily while you add the color. Because it was really hard to uh, remove the, the cutout once it dried. For my background here, I wanted to create some linear uh, gradient as well. Um, I don't know why the idea popped in. I think maybe because the paper I was working with that you'll see also has lines in it. But regardless, the idea came and I thought, why not? Let's give it a try and see what it looks like. So I am using the Sunkist collection from Coco Vanilla Studio. I have a 6x8 paper pad that I purchased and have used along with the flower ephemera pack and this is actually some of the leftover pieces that I have that I used for this. So I really love the rainbow look of that striped paper and I used that to back uh, one of my photos and then you'll see me continue to back the rest of them. So I have four, four photos that I printed. I used my Project Life app on my phone. Um, it is by, I forget um, who it's by, but it's a great app. It lets you create uh, grids on a four by six and I think a five by seven as well. And I love using it to print the smaller size photos. It lets me get lots of them on the page. So once you back it up, um, then I move to um, adhering my cut file to my background. So the pops of color actually didn't take that long to dry. Um, and while it was drying, I was backing the photos and just trying to figure out the placement of things and picking out ephemera. So it gives you plenty, you have uh, a good amount of time to do that and, and get ready to, to really place everything on the page. So. And then I used my uh, foam strips to put on the back of the cut file um, because I always pretty typically pop it up. I like the dimension it, that it gives. And then now really it's all about playing with the placement of the photos and then playing with the placement of 
the florals. So while I'm doing this, a little bit background on the pictures. This was actually taken on Mother's Day this year. Um, it was opening day for Richardson Farm, which is a local farm uh, nearby Illinois, Wisconsin border. And we spontaneously decided to visit the farm. And of course I had to dress in bright pink because I knew I was gonna take pictures and I love tulips. Tulips are my top three favorite flowers. So also peonies and roses. And I was just so excited to be able to actually go there and enjoy some time with the boys and Joe. Leo was actually at a dance competition that day, so she didn't get to go. But we'll definitely be back because it was just beautiful. So um, beyond the cut file, I took the cutout letters and then popped those up as well. So again, this gives extra dimension to the page, which I just love. And then I had... A little bit of leftover flowers from the ephemera pack from Sunkist and then I had these green leaves that I had previously cut out for other projects and I had extra leftovers um, and I decided to use them here so I usually do that if I cut too much of something or I don't end up using it I'll save it especially for something like this that is pretty universal and can be used anytime so um, I think the green just adds a really nice pop of color again <laughs> um, to the layout. And um, I like the fact that you kind of get this circular uh, motion with the leaves. So your eye kind of follows, follows that around the page. So I wish you guys can see the, the texture better. Hopefully you can see it on here, but it just, it's so yummy. I love all the texture. I, you know, I've probably said it before, but I used to be afraid to use a lot of texture and dimension on my pages because I just made so many pages and I was always worried about not having enough space for albums in my house. And then probably a couple years ago, I said, who cares? Right, just just create, enjoy the process, and you'll figure out what where it all goes. So now I just can't stop. And then these Ali Studio uh, pop um, stickers, the puffy stickers, are so fun. I got them in all the colors that they had, and I just keep it on hand so I can use them as little embellishments on my layouts. So I was really happy to be able to use it here. And then I used, the, again, some more pops of color in the same color scheme to add around the page to um, just finish off the look. I also did the centers of the flowers in pops of colors. And then you'll see just in a tad bit, I used um, stickles to add a little bit more onto the flowers um, so where the little outlines are. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this. Let me know if you have any questions. I'll have all the links in my description. Please do pop into the Facebook group if you're not already a member. And I will be back soon.